This is a line of death. Anyone who crosses this line will immediately collapse. One day, a man accidentally drove through it. He quickly lost consciousness. The out-of-control car crashed into another car on the roadside and exploded. Soon after, a large number of police officers arrived to uncover the truth. They sent a police officer wearing a gas mask and a rope around his waist. He took cautious steps forward, but after a few steps, he lost consciousness and fell to the ground. They quickly pulled him back. He regained consciousness as soon as he was pulled back behind the white line. This is too bizarre. What exactly happened inside the town within the white line? It turns out that earlier this morning, the town was holding a grand party, but at 10 o'clock, a shadow engulfed the entire town. Then everyone in town lost consciousness. Even the animals were not spared. The police suspected it was some kind of biochemical attack. They sent in an expert to investigate. But in the face of such a bizarre event, even the female expert was helpless. Then, a cow lying on the ground suddenly stood up. And then everyone woke up. Afterward, the police conducted a comprehensive inspection of the town, but found no abnormalities. Everyone's life gradually returned to normal. They thought it was all over. But not long after, all the women in town became pregnant. In the conception days were all on the day everyone passed out. The women were worried about these unborn children of unknown origin. They wanted to abort them. That night they had the same dream again. In the dream, they were touching their bellies with faces full of sanctity. The next day, they all changed their minds and decided to give birth to the children. On the day of delivery, the governance sent a large number of doctors and nurses to help these women give birth. But one woman gave birth to a stillborn baby. After testing, they found that the fathers of these fetuses were the same person. This was truly unimaginable. As the children grew older, adults noticed something unusual. These children all had silver hair and very high intelligence. At just one year old, they could spell their own names with toys. When a little girl was scolded by her mother, her pupils turned green. She instantly controlled her mother's mind forcing her mother's hand into a boiling pot. The woman screamed in pain. Her friends arrived in time to pull her hand out. But the next moment, she put her hand back in. She stopped only when the little girl's pupils returned to normal. The grief-stricken woman was controlled to the edge of a cliff. The little girl controlled her to jump off directly. Accidents continued to occur in the town. The victims had all had contact with these children before their deaths. Everyone knew it was the children's doing, but there was no evidence. Soon the children grew up. They all had silver hair. They traveled together, a boy with a girl. Only the last little boy had no companion because his companion died in childbirth due to complications. One day, the little boy went to the cemetery alone to find his deceased companion. He met the companion's mother drinking sadly. He foresaw the woman's future. The man also came to the cemetery to mourn his wife. The little boy took his hand and felt his pain. The man felt that these children were not beyond redemption. Perhaps they just needed guidance. So he began to teach these children personally. One day, the female expert took the man to the laboratory to see the fetuses that died during childbirth. She had already changed her appearance. The female expert speculated that these children were descendants of other creatures. Soon someone under the control of the children drove into an oil tank. The female expert dissected the fetus that died back then and made it into a specimen. She was also controlled by the children to dissect herself. That night, the residents decided to eliminate the group of children, but under the control of the children's thoughts, the leading woman was burned to death by her own torch. The police also arrived. They were controlled as soon as they aimed their guns at the children. They began to kill each other. Soon, they were all wiped out. The man arrived at the scene. He knew that these children had to be eliminated. Otherwise, they would endanger the entire human society. He brought a time bomb to the classroom and wanted to die with the children. But he aroused the suspicion of the children. They gathered together to control the man's mind. But the man's willpower was very strong. Then the woman appeared from behind and wanted to take the little boy away. But she was discovered by the children. They were about to control the woman's mind. The little boy ran over and pushed the little girl down. He saved the woman and ran out with her. The children continued to attack the man with their minds. The man gradually couldn't hold on. Then they realized that the box contained a time bomb. Unfortunately, time was up. The bomb exploded. The man died with them, but the woman took the little boy and left the town. They started a new life.